Hey, how's everybody doing? Phil Montelioni, the book peddler here. Dreary uh, Tuesday afternoon, rainy as heck. And I want to make a video. I had a very special book come through the shop that I posted on my business Facebook page. Unfortunately, um, this is basically in the process of being sold. I always encourage everybody to um, subscribe to all the, to the different pages because I try not to overburden and put up more than max twice posting a week um i try to just do once a week i, I don't want to I, I don't know I, sometimes i think that people might get annoyed uh seeing me constantly in their feed so i i try to be aware of that but um i'm making this video quickly because this is what it's all about it's finding gems like uh like this book i'm going to show you i actually made a uh video about my last book pick that was set to i was set to put it up in a couple days and um basically the conclusion of the pick was yeah there was solid material there was not not, not that gem wasn't found because when i do these videos i only have so much time i i can't show you everything i get i get excited and you're usually uh the the second pair of eyes on the book so i usually get one round well i forgot that this book was in the bottom of the of the of the, of the box and this was found out to be a, a very true gem of the pick um in a piece of american history so when that video comes out i'm going to link up a card to this one here but let me get into this this is a awesome piece of american history and i'm going to flip it here in a minute i set up my tripod so i'll be kind of straddling the tripod here and showing you the book um and let me just bear with me for two seconds, everyone, as I click this in. And I think we should be should be good here. Ah, jeez. Hold on. Boy, I'll tell you. Okay. This is the book here. Um, it's called The Roving Editor. Or Talks with Slaves in the Southern States. Let me show you the spine here. Let me let me zoom out a bit right there okay so by james redpath 1859 very rare special book you see it has its condition issues okay i'm doing this the best i can i'm going to show you the title page so basically this book this this uh man from new york uh james redpath wanted to um go to the plantations for himself and uh interview slaves get their opinions on things and um so this is a compilation of his letters uh in this book basically and there's a professor from uh, indiana university his name is i think john mcgiviga or something um but he's published specifically and verified um uh the author's accounts here here's a uh a picture of a, I'll read you the caption. It's too hard to see. There on a coffin sat, sat a wrinkled old Negro holding a broken piece of mirror close to his nose and scraping his furrowed face. Um, might and main with a very dull razor, which he held in his right hand. So this is just very cool. In the back, there's some advertising for um, other books here but the historical sig significance of this i i had a quote by um penn state university and it said quote the roving editor is one of the most valuable and compelling sources of the slaves own testimony regarding their treatment in the late antebellum period so this is a very special rare book um I, I, this is something like i would advise the collector to 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 buy and purchase i think the value can only go up even though it's rough condition the only other one i found out on market was actually in worse condition than this and um it was an ex library book and uh they had that listed at 350 that price has not been realized um i'm gonna sell this to a basically a friend of mine i'm gonna give him a nice deal on this but this book, I believe, is worth more than that, for sure. The historical significance of it, it's in first edition, first state. What a beautiful book. So this was found at the bottom of a box of my last book pick. And I just wanted to share that because I thought that that was very special and you all would enjoy it. 
I'm going to take this off the tripod here and flip it to myself and say goodbye. But uh, here we go. So I hope you enjoy that book, guys. Um, I appreciate you watching my videos and, and, and the support. If you haven't, I hope you subscribe to my YouTube channel, The Book Peddler. Stay up to date on book picks, in-store, out-store activity. And every now and then highlighting a special item that, that comes through the shop. This is why I do it. It's very exciting to get things like this. Um, and, uh, so anyhow, guys, um, until next time, we'll see you later. Okay.